So in my videos I've been talking a lot about mouse feet, but I've never actually reviewed them. So I thought it's about time I did. I'm gonna test four different mice with original mouse feet and then slap on some core pads and test them again. I want to see how big of a difference I can actually feel. So let's go ahead and start. We are gonna use three different mouse pads for these tests. And those are the Artisan Zero Soft, and then the Extra 5 GP4, and the Logitech G640. And the mice that we are gonna use are the Ultralight 2, the Glorious Model D-, the Zowie FK2, and then the Razer Viper Mini. So how did the glide test go with these mice and the stock feet? The glide with the stock feet on all the mice was quite good with the Artisan Zero. And that's something that I really was kind of expecting. Because the Artisan Zero is very consistent with different kind of mouse feet. Moving on to the Extra Fry GP4. Here pretty much the Viper Mini and the Glorious Model D- performed very well. The Ultralight 2 then again struggled with inconsistency and the FK2 was very slow. On the Logitech G640 the Ultralight 2 really struggled. The glide was bad and the experience was altogether quite unsmooth. The Model D- skates also lacked some smoothness. Then again the FK2 feet were smooth but they lacked a lot of glide. Viper Mini stock skates performed quite alright. They felt a little bit inconsistent that they could be a little bit more smooth but this was the best experience out of all these mice. Time to conclude these results with the stock feet. The Ultralight 2 mouse feet did not do that well. The Zowie feet felt smooth and consistent but they lacked a lot of glide. The Viper Mini skates then again had good glide but lacked consistency. The Glorious feet were the best of the bunch. They had good consistency and good glide. They did very well with all my mouse pads. It's gonna be interesting to see that two of the core pads improve performance over these Glorious skates. But let's go ahead and slap on some core pads and do the test again. So a few things you might want to know about the core pad before we start. The skates are 100% PTFE aka they are pure PTFE mouse feet. This means that they provide good consistent glide for long periods of times. For example, if you use a cloth pad and you buy these core pads, you will never have to pretty much replace them. The European core pad website states that all the feet with this rounded edges logo are, have rounded edges. But this might be outdated because all the mice feet I've gotten from them don't have this logo and they are all rounded still. Most of the feet seem to come with the 0.6mm thickness, but for example the Logitech G Pro Wireless feet are 0.9mm thick. In case your mouse has a sensor in core pad also provides that. And for example for the Glorious Model D-, you also get those large mouse feet. Continuing on with the test. With the Artisan Zero the glide did improve but it was not a massive improvement for most of these mice. The biggest improvement was with the FK2. There was just a lot more glide with the core pads. With the Extra Fry GP4 there was a massive improvement with the FK2 and the Ultralight 2. The improvement was very noticeable also with the Viper Mini and the Model D-. There was altogether more glide and the experience was smoother. The Ultralight 2 still struggled with the Logitech G640 and core pads. The glide was good but it did not feel smooth or consistent. Same goes with pretty much the Model D-. It lacked a lot of smoothness. With the FK2 and the Viper Mini the glide was surprisingly good and so was the smoothness. With both of these mice and the core pads this pad actually felt quite alright. But let's conclude with the results against the stock feet and the core pads. So the difference was quite massive with the Ultralight 2. Way more glide and good consistency. It was easy to tell the difference with the Viper Mini also. The core pads were thicker, they added some consistency and the glide was even better. For the FK2 we got a massive improvement in the glide. But we did lose some smoothness. For the Model D the difference was not that big. I could feel that the core pads were thicker. Well the Artisan Zero was very consistent with all the mouse feet. The glide was very good, but it does lack some friction in my opinion. I think the G640 is not a good pad and that's why I wanted it in this test. I wanted to see how big of a difference do good feet make with this mouse pad. It was massive, but I wouldn't recommend getting that mouse pad. That was pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button. And if you enjoy gaming gear reviews, hit the sub button. And see you in the next one.